All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. NBA 2K20 demo, August 21st. About three three weeks ago, way, maybe four weeks, whatever, man. Listen, August 21st, free download, PlayStation and Xbox. I don't even think they're gonna have it on PC, but they say it's Nintendo Switch. Anyway, look, this is the thing that, that struck me about this. You've already heard all the other news. You've heard everything else ad nauseum, but the thing that makes me the most giddy about this is they're talking about the new my player system not the same iteration not the my player system from last year but a new my player system and with the new my player system man i don't know what they what they're going to do i have seen some screenshots and if they, i can't put them in the video because people been getting hotline for doing that but look if these screenshots are credible there was a screenshot of one where it said you know it's like an all-around offensive superstar stuff like that it seems like they're going to be taking a much more nba live approach with doing this right here right it's like like maybe they're gonna do like live like somebody put in my comments one day they said hey hey jay you know maybe it's gonna be like um nba live where when i had a, I, I started off with a rim protector and as i put my stats up my players archetype changed so instead of you just choosing the archetype choosing what you want to be good at choosing what you want to do perhaps you're going to have to they're just going to give you the raw prospect from the beginning. Maybe we will have inside, outside, or, or you know, down the middle, which is, which is uh, balanced. Maybe they will start you off with that, and you'll get allocated points that you can put toward this way or that way. And then as you choose, maybe it'll be like, as you go up, you know, you, you put your three-point shooting up. You start out as a sharpshooter. Then you put your ball handling up, and then you're a, you know, you're a playmaking sharpshooter. And then if your ball handling exceeds a, a certain threshold, like the 86 or what have you, then you'll be a playmaking sharpshooter. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it'll be like that. And then, then if you start upgrading your defense, maybe you'll be a two-way superstar. But then... If, but at the same time, maybe you'll be like, well, I want I want my shooting off the dribble all the way up. I want my uh, I want my three point shooting all the way up, and I want my uh, my dribbling all the way up. And then maybe something like that will give you all around superstar. Now, if that happens, and you are able to make an all around superstar, hey, real quick before we talk about that, make sure you go by my site, Breeze Tees, man. Uh, link is in the description. I am gonna start putting. I'm gonna have a joint up there where you can do the custom head ties and. Um, I am making the uh, I am making a uh, custom head tie for myself today. It's gonna be the Scout Regiment for the glory of humanity. If you got that, let me know where that comes from down in the comments. You're gonna win some VC. Anyway, but like I said, if you if you do go the way of the all-around superstar, like you like like I saw on that screenshot, you should be able to you should be able to just go behind your back and this should just drop. Like if you choose to, if you actively choose, like this year, we didn't get to choose how much defense we got to play, right? But if you actively choose to not put defense on your player in lieu of just maxing out his offense. He should be incredible offensively. You should be a terror on the twos and everything should be dope, right? But if you don't put any defense on your player, then you should get dropped by the most, the most casual Jamal Crawford behind the back, just like you was getting dropped in 16. If you didn't have defense on your player and you didn't have lockdown perimeter defender on goal, you were literally getting, you couldn't even stand in front of a point guard on that game. And that's how it should be. There should be no iteration of this where I can actively choose to not put defense in my build and then, and then be able to say, well, you know, I can still stand in front of people. Shouldn't happen. I mean, not even if you're good enough. Just like I don't agree with if your threshold for shooting threes isn't high enough, no matter how good you are, you shouldn't be able to time that three to make it green as often as it is this year. It's crazy. But I can't get mad at it because my guy, my two-way playmaker, and we're going to get the two ways in a second, my two-way playmaker, he shoots threes like a sharpshooter. I very rarely miss with him. And people know, be like, what the heck? And it's, the, and it's always funny. I can always tell when people are pulling up on me just because of that. Because... The average person they see a two-way playmaker, they leave him wide open. People defend my two-way playmaker end to end. They will not let me get a, you know, most of the time they'll back off into the paint and I can just take a, take a shot or something. They, they don't let that happen with me. But anyway, the whole point of this is if you put your defense up, then maybe it'll be like, maybe, you, you know, you put your shot creating up and you put this up and you put that up. Then, then maybe you can be a two-way sharpshooter if you if you max out sharpshooting and defense. If you max out playmaking and defense, you know, you're a two-way playmaker. If your defense reaches a certain threshold, then you're just a two-way superstar. And you can, let's say if you have everything in the 70s, so you got like 70 dribbling or 80 dribbling, so you can speed boost, 75 uh, shooting and then 75 uh, shot creating. And that will make you like an all-star or something like that, or a superstar. Then you put you put the uh, defense all the way up, and then you can be a two-way superstar. 
I just hope that they allocate the points in a way that your player can't be just like completely toxic. And what I'm saying is, you don't want, we while we think we want players that can do everything, I don't want you to have a player that can do everything. I just want to feel like my player can do everything. And I do feel like my player can do everything uh, with, with my two-way playmaker as long as I use him judiciously. But we don't want a repeat of this year where people, you know, stuff like where people that can't dribble can dribble. So like last year in 2K17 or in 2K16 and 2K, I mean, 2K17 and 2K18, if you couldn't dribble and you bumped into somebody and you played perfect defense, they were forced to pick the ball up. This year, they're not forced to pick the ball up. They may look like they're gonna pick it up and then they'll fall back and dribble like that. And then the next thing you know, they got control of the ball again. And that's not even a good time to reach. Things like that have to be addressed because I feel like that's why we have so many issues with these bills. Every year, dribbling is rendered inert or is rendered irrelevant because there are ways to dribble without dribbling. Like we have to, if, if we make this way, if, if we make this way of making players, we have to make the stats mean something this year. Shooting was was made irrelevant because everybody, uh, base 23, base, uh, base 13 and base 24 made shooting and, and Steph Curry, a lot of people didn't know about Steph until last, I mean, until later, but uh, those bases made shooting stats irrelevant. The fact that you can left right have all has always made dribbling stats irrelevant. If you have somebody that is committed to the to the to the B to the B B A E N way of playing or the or the freak boy way of playing, we just gonna call it that. If you have people that are committed to cheesing the game and that's all they want to do, I have seen sharpshooters come out there, pure sharpshooters at 99. You can't stay in front of them. They can do all the dribble moves. I feel like if you're not, if you're, if your dribbling isn't, isn't up, you shouldn't even have dribble moves. You seen Kyle Corbin hit anybody with a dribble move? There's plenty of NBA players that don't even have dribble moves, man. They shouldn't have any. Like, and if you try to do anything, if you try to string them together, you should just lose the ball. Like they say, if you, if you try to step back, do the step back, and uh, you can't do it, you then you're just gonna lose the ball. But people got around that by just doing the behind the back. Yeah, and y'all know which one I'm talking about, the one that just boosts you a little bit. People got people have gotten around having to dribble the ball in the game for years. That has to stop. You know, like if, if because what's going to happen is this, you're gonna see you're gonna have an issue where if if they don't address making stats matter, but you're gonna have some crazy bills and the bills are gonna be able to do everything. Like again, we're gonna have glass cleaners and pure rims greening at a at, at a 60% rate. Like I don't care how good you are, pure glass, pure rims should not be shooting at 60%. But people that I play with, they do it. Uh, my boy, um, man, I can't think of his name right now, but he, he's always first in my comments that I play with, and he's the lockdown. And uh, you know, since day one, he came out there. We playing in the park. He he doesn't miss. Uh, he doesn't miss from three. Let me see what his name is right here real quick. I'm about to tell y'all real quick. Uh, Prince, my boy Prince, he don't miss from three at all. His pure lockdown can defend you. And when we need a basket in the park, we'll isolate. We'll just let him isolate. How is that even something that's that 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 should be? It shouldn't be like that. But it is what it is. Like I said, I digress. I ain't here to, to complain about the game and none of that. I'm just saying that if they go with this system, we're going to have to make statistics finally mean something. You and and when I'm saying that finally means something is this. We know that badges are the reason that people are able to do things in this game. Badges and boost. My 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 chick is bad and boost. Badges badged and boosted. We know that badges and boost are the reason that players can do the things that they can do in this game. With that being the case, the only thing I'm saying is 2K, let's go back to 2K16 and you can't get certain badges unless your player has a certain attribute threshold regardless of what the archetype is and so they can do that if if the system is the way that i'm saying that, that, that i think it's going to be then until you become a sharpshooter you can't get corner specialists you can't get uh you know deep range dead eye all that stuff so your shooting is going to have to be something like a 70 75 or 79 or something like that for you to be able to get the shooting badges and then um you know, you can just go from there. Before you can get like ankle breaker and all that, you probably gotta have like 85 dribbling or something. You have to be pronounced a playmaker and then you qualify for those badges. Something like that would be dope because you you would really, I mean, you can get, if, if you have uh, defensive blocks at a certain level, you can get chase down artists 
and it may actually mean something this year because it didn't mean a whole lot this year. My two-way playmaker got a lot of blocks off of Chase Down Artisan. He gets a lot of blocks, but uh, wait, wait, playmaking sharpshooters, like it, 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 you can't like they, they have no weakness. The only uh, the only weakness a playmaking sharpshooter has is if they're not in takeover, they can they can't shoot the ball off the dribble. That's it. They can go to the rim with impunity. Nobody can block their shot because of the new blocking system where if the lane was open when you went up, then then the, then you can hit the shot. But, I mean, then, it's, then, it, then it can be green if the lane was open when you began your layup, which I'm fine with that. But then if I'm on the perimeter and I'm taking a shot and I was open when I was taking a shot and you jump at me, that's contested. It makes no sense. So we have to make stats mean something if we're going. I mean, that layup is like an 80, like, like T. Mizzle said. It shouldn't be an 80. But it, it, it's an 80. It is what it is. But we got to make, make stats mean something. You can't use other players' stats to make other players' stats irrelevant. Uh, case in point, if I have a glass cleaner, but I got the glass cleaner boxed out, his rebounding his rebounding stats will just take over my guy, and he'll just push me out of the way. Or if I jump, I won't be able to jump, and then he'll jump. Like, if you, if you play, like, a, a, a stretch or something like that, you know they just won't let you jump, even though you've done everything right. So we got to make stats mean. That's the only place where stats kind of mean something. Other than that, they don't mean anything. Anyway, I know I already talked too long, man. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I want the game just to be better. This seems to be a step in the right direction if this is the way that they're going to do it. Um, they, said that they, they said that that's how they're going to do it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I, like I said, looking at all the screenshots and all the information that I've seen, this is the way. Uh, it, it's not 100% confirmed, but if the screenshots are, are correct, it is 100% confirmed. It's like it's not confirmed, but it's confirmed. Y'all already know what it is, man. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Let me know if you're excited for the demo. Let me know if you understood what I was trying to say when I'm trying to explain how the attribute system is probably going to be, as well as how it should be. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People Shout. Holla! And like I said, man, with all this stuff right here, man, you know, I just talk all that time. I didn't even mean to talk that long. I thought it was going to be like a five minute video, but when you get me on a tangent about stats not meaning anything, it just goes like that. But all this is just speculation. At the end of the day, you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace.